hello friends welcome back to my channel i hope all of you are doing well so guys in today's video we'll see how we can create modules in terraform this is one of the most important topic of terraform and whenever you will work in projects then this modular approach we need to use in order to create terraform code so let's start our today's video so this is basically the visual studio code so how to install it and everything related to prerequisites for terraform azure cloud and visual studio code i have placed separate videos so if you are not uh, familiar with these tools you can get look to those uh, videos which i have created in this series and you will get familiar with these tools once you'll see those videos so in today's video we'll see how we can create module in terraform so firstly let's understand that why there is a requirement of module and why we create it so modular approach when we use in terraform this is basically the approach in order to reuse the code so how we can reuse this code suppose if we have created three four modules just like we have created a module of resource group one module we have created for vnet one for subnet similarly we can create other modules and if we'll copy that module folder and if we'll place in our terraform code so every time we don't need to write the code just we need to edit the variable or we need to change the values of variable which we actually variableize in module folder so uh, let's start practically so that uh, we'll be familiar that how to create it and why these modular structure is very important when we work in any of the project so firstly what we'll do we'll just create a structure everything is very similar to the one that we have created in our previous videos also but in this approach uh, some folder approach will follow and that folder approach is known as module so firstly what we'll do let's create some files first so we'll create a file like main.tf we have created earlier also similarly we'll create one more file which we can call provider.tf okay similarly we need one more file which is uh, variables.tf okay and then we need uh, one more file uh, which may be as an output.tf in order to take output of any value and if we want to uh, make assignment of a variable so for that we'll create more and more file that is terraform.tfvars so these are the file till now we were using but in order to make it in a modular approach we'll now create a folder so that folder name will give as a resource group module so in today's example i'm taking very basic example of azure cloud that is a resource group so it is not that much complex just like we create virtual machines or anything else this i'm creating for the very basic understanding of module that's why i'll create only a resource group but by using modular approach so this is now our folder and inside our folder we can further create some files so file structure will remain same so firstly we need main.tf here and then we want to create one more file looks like that file has not been created yet so let's create that file first main.tf okay it is created now we need to create two more files one is for variables.tf one is for output.tf and we'll not create provider.tf and terraform.tf vars inside this folder because this is basically the module that is going to reuse so code will place here but the things that to variableize the things for the variable will keep outside of this folder so we'll create two more folder one is for variables and second is for output.tf okay so this is our modular approach so this is basically the module that is going to reuse so anywhere if you want to use the resource scope we'll just copy this module folder and we'll place in our 
Terraform code. But as of now, we'll see how we can create this complete modularized structure. And these all are the file where we'll call this module and we'll make necessary amendment. So firstly, let's search that what is the code of resource group. So this we can take from Terraform registry. So this is very basic example, but we'll understand that what actually is this modular approach. That's why I'm taking it. So as of now, we can take this complete resource. We can copy it and we need to paste it in our folders main.tf because this is the module where we'll keep our code. So as of now, we don't need any kind of tag, so we can remove it to make it simple. And uh, as of now, I don't want the name to be here. I want to variableize the name of this resource group. So I can go with var dot resource underscore group. Okay. So as of now, we haven't declared this variable. So let's declare this variable also. And here we can make its type declaration. Okay, so now variable is declared here. And in the main, we have just variableized the name. And here in this location, we can go with South India. So we are not variableizing the location here. If we want, we can variableize this also. But as of now, we don't want to get variableized the location. We only want to variableize the resource group name. Okay, so here it is declared now. And in output, how we'll take the output? So in output block, we need to give the name as it is and how we can take its value. Value is basically Azure resource group dot example dot name we can take so we are good with the modular part we have declared the resource we have taken the output of the name and we have declared this variable also so similar thing we need to do for external file also which are external to this folder so we'll copy the variables content and win places here so we are good and in case of main we'll do something different and in case of terraform tf vars we need to declare the resource group name so we can give its value here any name we can give it here so that this value will be taken up when we'll run this module so as of now we are done with the modular main.tf, output.tf and variables.tf. Similarly, we have made the similar variables file here. And in case of main.tf, what we need to do here, we need to call this module. So we'll go with the module tab here. And here we need to give some name. So we can give as a, in this name, we can give rg, any name we can give here. So RG name we can use here and how we'll call the module. So we need to use a source block here and in source block, we need to just give reference to the this main.tf which is inside this folder. So As we can put dot here and then after slash it is giving us the resource group module and in that resource group module we are having this main.tf 
so in this way we actually call the module and if we are calling this module then we have made one name as variable so we need to overwrite the name of this variable here so here we can place it like resource underscore group is equals to var dot resource group and what value it will take that we have declared in terraform.tf vars so our main is done in case of output we need to take the output in some different manner so if we'll declare output section here and if we'll give any name here just like rg name or anything we can give here but in case of value now how we'll call it with module dot rg name so inside module we have the variable sorry where we are yeah here so here in case of output we need to call it as module dot the value of that variable so if we'll remove it and if we'll go with module it is already giving us this particular variable so we'll take it here so we are now done with main.tf we are now done with output.tf and here terraform.tf vars we are done in variables we are also done with it now we left with provider.tf so that we can search that what syntax we need to give here so here if we'll go to use provider this will give us the syntax so we'll copy it here and we'll paste in provider.tf section okay so here we need to give four parameter as i told in my previous video also so firstly we need to give subscription id here and then its value and then we need to give tenant id and then its value and after the, this is basically the service principle so in the third we need to give the client id so this is the one that we can take it from here and as of now i'm keeping it blank because this is confidential so i'll place it after hiding this screen so this is basically the service principle that we need to place and after that we need to place a features block here because without that it will not work so we are good now and uh, we can proceed by filling these things so i'm pausing this video and then i'll fill all these parameters here okay guys so i have placed those values uh, in that provider.tf file and that is confidential that's why i'm not sharing a screen for putting those things but i have explained uh, that how to create those four parameters for uh, service principle and how to get the value from azure portal uh, so those who are new that can refer to my previous videos where i have clearly explained how to take this service principle to create the service principle first on azure and how to take the variables values related to those parameters so as we are now done let's go to terminal and in new terminal we are currently here in module example folder and if we'll do an ls hyphen lrth so we'll see what all files are here currently so looks like it is taking some time so we need to run with ls so here we are having this module folder and the main.tf file so first of the thing that we need to run is the terraform init command so as we can see it is saying initializing modules so as i told earlier also that when we run terraform init command it do three things one it will download the provider the provider sections that we have declared in provider.tf means it is actually downloading the plugin related to azure so that it can connect to azure cloud second it will initialize the module so module piece was remaining in my previous video so as of now we can see that it is initializing the module third thing it do is initialize the backend so as of now we are using local backend so it will create uh, anything related to terraform uh, state file and everything will get created in the local so now we are good as init has been worked properly so as of now 
let's see whether terraform plan works properly or not so yes terraform plan is working here and it is saying that module dot rg name dot resource group dot example will get create and its name will be the name that we have declared in our terraform dot tf vars file that is test rg test one and then if plan is successful then uh, we can go with terraform apply hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve so let's see whether create that resource or not so looks like things are okay with the things that we have given reference and here we can see that apply is completed one resource added and output is basically the name of that resource that we have created so guys in this way we can implement modular approach and if we'll go to cloud and if we'll go to resource group we can see that this test rg test one resource group has been created so in this way we actually create module so it is nothing other than the things that we were doing in our previous videos where we were simply creating main.tf output provider and everything so in case of module we just create one more folder as a module or any name you can give it inside that we need to keep at least two files that is main.tf and variables.tf if we are variableizing the thing and then we need to call that particular module in outside place main.tf file so guys in this way we can create modular approach and it was the basic example just i took in consideration of beginners those who are beginners to terraform so i have created this resource group example and in my next video i'll create this modular structure for complete virtual machine and as we are done now so we can destroy the resource so it will destroy in the same way it created so guys i'm done with today's video and i hope uh, you understood the concept of module and if you like this video just give a like to the video and please subscribe to my channel also and i'll see you in my next video